Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. After training thousands of DevOps and cloud engineers, these are the common mistakes that I found DevOps engineers do, especially during the learning phase. Make sure you watch this video till the end so that if you are a DevOps aspirant, if you are in the learning phase, you will not do these common mistakes. Without wasting any time, let's get started. First one. The most common mistake that DevOps aspirants do, they start learning with a cloud platform. So they assume learning cloud is much more easy. So they just go for AWS, Azure or GCP and they start their learning journey. Let me tell you, this is a very, very bad mistake because if you don't understand what is virtualization, there is no way you can understand what is an EC2 instance. If you don't understand what is Kubernetes, there is no way you can understand what is EKS, AKS or GKE. Of course, you might go to the cloud platform, you might click few buttons and you might get those services. But what you're learning is not DevOps. You are learning how to use the managed services. Understand the difference very clearly. So always start with DevOps, understand DevOps, if possible, practice DevOps and only then go to the cloud platform. A lot of people might say you other way around, but trust me, this is the right approach for learning DevOps and cloud. Now, the second common mistake that DevOps aspirants do, they prioritize certifications over practical learning. Again, this is a very, very common thing that I've seen on LinkedIn, on YouTube comment section, and also people who I interact with directly. There is something called FOMO, fear of missing out. So you might see a lot of people posting on LinkedIn that they are AWS certified, they are Kubernetes certified, they are Azure certified, and a lot of DevOps aspirants, they fall into this trap that, okay, even I might need a bunch of certifications on my resume. In fact, it's good to have a certification, but understand practical learning experience is way more important than your certifications. So first learn, practice and then get certified. It's not that certified, learn and practice. A lot of people do this second approach. They get certified first, then they start learning and then they start giving the practicals. No, right? Always start with learning things first, then practice as much as possible. It's okay. Even if you spend some money on the cloud platforms, fortunately, all of these cloud platforms are very open to wave off your cloud bill. So use the free trial as much as possible. Even if you spend few dollars on the cloud account, it's still fine. And then if you still have time, if you want to wait for your interviews, if you want to have a badge on your resume saying you are XYZ certified, it's okay. Go for the certification, right? So this is the second common mistake that DevOps aspirants do. Now the third one, chasing tools without learning the fundamentals. So basically, a lot of people assume DevOps is about tools because there are hundreds of tools. So people look for top 10 DevOps tools, top five DevOps tools, and they start learning those tools. For example, Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform. It's not that you have to learn tools if you want to become a DevOps engineer. You should first understand the fundamentals. You should understand what is container, what is container orchestration, then learn about Docker and Kubernetes. Understand what is infrastructure as code. In fact, create infrastructure manually first, understand the challenges, understand how infrastructure as code can overcome these challenges. This is how you need to plan your learning. Again, don't chase tools, but go with the fundamentals and then learn the tools. In DevOps, there are hundreds of tools. What you can do, you can pick up a tool per concept or one tool for one concept. For CI/CD, maybe you can pick up GitHub Actions. For container orchestration, maybe you can pick up Kubernetes. For infrastructure as code, maybe you can pick up Terraform. This way, you can plan your learning journey. Now, the fourth common mistake that people do, watching tutorials, but not practicing things. This point might be repetitive, but it's worth talking about. 
you know you watch a lot of videos on youtube maybe you read a lot of blogs on the internet and you assume that you have learned things but this is a biggest mistake in devops and cloud just like programming like just watching a program you don't understand the program you need to get your hands dirty maybe you have to go for a ide you have to practice the program you have to see the output by yourself only then you can learn that program or only then you can learn that programming language devops is no exception watching abhishek's videos might make you feel you know that concept you know ci cd but when you actually get your hands dirty on ci cd you will run into tens of challenges of course the youtube tutorial might be very clean the youtube tutorial might provide notes they might share the github documents with you but still when you start doing the same things you will run into issues this happens with everyone this happens with me as well even if i watch a youtube video today if i feel i'm good at it that's the biggest mistake that i've done i have to install that tool i have to practice it i have to see a successful output only then i am good with that particular tool so this is fourth common mistake that people do watching tutorials but not practicing things fifth one learn everything at once this is another mistake again this is out of fomo you know while you are learning you might be active on linkedin you might be active on blogging mediums youtube and you see people's journey i have practiced 350 lead code problems or someone might say hey i've done 10 devops projects and then you run into that fomo and you start okay let me do this project i've seen lot of people do these mistakes that just to build a strong resume they start doing projects without actually learning the tools or without actually learning the concepts okay i've done end to end devops project i have followed the steps i ran into some issues i debug those issues and now i have done an end to end devops project but if you look at the ground level you know none of those concepts you were able to do that project because there is enough documentation that is provided because you took help of chat gpt that's not wrong okay you have added one project to your resume but if you learn these concepts first if you go step by step like eat one apple at a time okay i have completed the concept of containerization i understood it now i learned docker now i learned kubernetes now i learned ci cd now let me try to integrate these tools only then you will be able to learn things very well so learn concept by concept and then learn how to integrate them don't integrate ansible and terraform without understanding what is ansible what is what is terraform learn ansible first learn terraform next and then integrate ansible and terraform and do a wonderful project so this is the fifth common mistake that devops and cloud aspirants do now sixth one is ignoring real world scenarios let me give you a common example lot of people know what is nginx but many people don't know how to use nginx in real time lot of people know what is reverse proxy but many people don't know how reverse proxy is used in real world similarly load balancing similarly api gateway similarly the concept of kubernetes or the concept of containerization people know those things theoretically but when they are asked to put them practically they fail to understand so that's why learn things practical oriented another example if you are learning python today let's say you are learning a particular concept of python today don't try to create a vague example don't try to learn that with some silly example but instead understand okay if i am going to be a devops engineer i have learned this concept how this concept is used by the devops engineers maybe you learned lambda functions in python understand how lambda functions is used by devops engineers in real time then you will start coming over examples as you keep searching you will find lot of blogs you will find lot of references in chat gpt learn lambda functions with that example so that that concept will remain with you lifetime so this is sixth common mistake devops engineers do finally the last one i mean this is up to you if you want to uh, take care of it or not but personally i have seen this is very beneficial so the seventh common mistake or you can take it as an advice from me is 
document things what you have learnt. Personally, even I'm learning something today. I create an architecture diagram for it. I write some notes for myself. Not that I will go back and I will refer that notes or I'll refer that architecture diagram. Sometimes I might do it. But when I start putting things in my own words, if I start putting what is Kubernetes in my own words, if I draw the Kubernetes architecture diagram for myself, maybe draw.io or maybe uh, Miro, Miro boards, right? Then I'll start understanding things visually and those things never leave out of my mind. Again, I might go back to it, refer it or not, but documenting things and drawing the architecture diagrams, preparing your own notes will help you accelerate your learning multiple times. This is a suggestion from me. Personally, I also do it. I have seen a lot of uh, aspirants find this very insightful. So if you're interested, you can give it a try. But these are seven common mistakes that DevOps and cloud aspirants do. In fact, this is applicable for any engineer in the IT industry. But I'm personally focusing on DevOps and cloud engineers because most of our subscribers are DevOps and cloud aspirants. If you find this video insightful, let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section especially if you are finding something difficult learning. It can be tool, it can be concept, or it can be some blocker with respect to your learning experience. Do let me know in the comment section. See you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.